Hello everyone. Well, it got stormy in northwest Indiana last night as a dying cold front moved over us, but we're not done with the storm chance just yet because we still got the main cold front to work over us. So let's get to all the details in your Sunday forecast sponsored by Nipsco. 9 a.m. this morning, completely dry, but as early as 11 a.m. I think we'll start to see a little bit of new activity start to fire up just ahead of the cold front, which at 11 a.m. will probably be pushing into the northwest side of Chicago. So between about 11 a.m. this morning and 3 o'clock this afternoon, we are talking about scattered showers and storms in northwest Indiana with a peak probably noon, 1, 2 o'clock. And it's going to be a combination of showers and thunderstorms. And most likely, the thunderstorms that pop up between 11 a.m. and 3 o'clock are going to be regular thunderstorms. But there is an outside chance we might get one to produce some damaging wind and hail, especially if these, the activity fires up a little bit earlier because the, when the storms initially fire up, they're not going to be very strong, but we do expect them to increase in intensity as they push to the east. Now, most likely they're going to become severe east of us, maybe around South Bend or even farther to east in Indiana. But I'm showing this model because let's say it happens a little bit sooner. And so if there's going to be a place that's most likely to see a severe storm today, though I'm going to leave in the chance for all of Northwest Indiana, it's, I would say, most likely going to be in Laporte County. That's probably where the storms will be a little bit stronger. I think they're going to get stronger as they move to the east. The bigger threat for severe weather is definitely east of us, but there's an outside chance we might still get an overachieving storm in Northwest Indiana. Notice this is uh, 1 o'clock and probably still uh, a chance around 2 o'clock, but I do think the cold front clear of us by 3 o'clock, and so that is it for the chance of severe storms. So, to recap, again, scattered showers and storms ahead and along this cold front between 11 a.m. this morning and 3 o'clock this afternoon. Not worried about tornadoes, not worried about flooding at most, and this is not going to be common, but at most, if you get right under a thunderstorm, you might pick up a quick inch of rain. More of us, quarter inch, half an inch, and there could be, because we're talking about scattered shower and storms, some missing out uh, on the rain. And I do think that most of these storms that fire up between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m., regular thunderstorms, but we might get one to overachieve. And if that happens, it could produce quarter size hail and wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. So notice the chance is low, but not zero. We do have to mention it until 3 o'clock this afternoon. And uh, let's pick things back up at 3 o'clock this afternoon. So the chance of severe storms going away and probably back to completely dry conditions in the region. And notice temperatures. So not a dramatic change from yesterday. Yes, we're going to be a little bit cooler, but it still looks like we're going to reach, you know, in the northern part of the region, we were mainly in the upper 80s yesterday, today mid 80s. In Newton and Jasper County, low 90s yesterday, and today just upper 80s. We're going to see the more significant cool down uh, for tomorrow. Now, behind this cold front, you're going to know when the cold front is clear of us, maybe not by the temperatures, but boy, are the winds going to pick up. Now, again, I talked about the chance for some damaging wind if a severe storm were to occur. But behind this cold front, we're talking about widespread wind gusts, 35, maybe even 40 miles per hour. So briefly getting very windy uh, late this afternoon and into the early evening hours. Uh, but it does look like probably uh, late afternoon until we get into the early evening hours, uh, completely dry. But notice 7 o'clock some showers starting to pop back up again. So what's the cause of this rain? The cold front's already clear. Well, we've got an area of low pressure uh, to the north of us, and it's going to continue to push to the east through tomorrow. It's going to keep the rain chance going. So bring back a chance, though, probably dry between 3 and 7 o'clock. Chance for showers coming back about 7 o'clock. And still on the windy side, however, by 11 o'clock, I think the winds will come back down as that cold front gets farther away. However, it's still going to be breezy, and it's going to be staying breezy. And notice the uh, rain chance, the isolated showers, maybe still a lone weak storm. <laughs> That's a possibility. Uh, I do think we're going to dry out, though, overnight. And so a temporary, and I do say temporary, lull in the rain chance for the morning commute tomorrow. Now, normally in the early morning hours, there's not much wind. That's not going to be the case tomorrow morning. It is still going to be breezy <laughs> with gusts 15, 20 miles per hour. And the rain chance is coming back, though I think the morning hours are going to be dry. Around lunchtime, I expect some showers to start to pop back up. And it actually is looking like a good chance of rain.
for the afternoon into the early evening hours tomorrow. Check out 3 o'clock. Scattered showers, maybe a couple thunderstorms, certainly not severe, but I'm going to leave in the chance for some heavy rain and lightning in spots. And I'll even say the rain chance tomorrow looking better than today. You know, we've got the cold front coming through today. I think uh, tomorrow it's going to be difficult for everyone in the region to stay dry. I think there might be some today that stay dry. I think everybody will get in on the activity. We're talking about scattered activity, but the scattered activity is going to last for a longer amount of time uh, tomorrow. It's going to be through the afternoon and into the evening hours. And so you might even get multiple rounds of rain for tomorrow. And same breezy tomorrow afternoon. And look at high temperatures for tomorrow. So now we're talking about probably most of us in the mid 70s, but maybe some only topping out in the low 70s. And that's about 10 degrees below normal uh, for this time of year. So here's seven o'clock tomorrow. I notice still a pretty good chance of rain. However, after seven o'clock, I do think the rain chance is gonna be diminishing. I'm gonna keep it in through all of Monday night, but I do think by Tuesday morning, all of the rain out of here, and though it's still gonna be a breezy day on Tuesday, Tuesday is looking completely dry.